And good afternoon po mga kaibigan, Fidel Fernandez, uh, para sa isang Kali episode na naman tayo. Ayun uh, po isang uh, excerpt lang ng paano tayo kumilos uh, using a bladed weapon such as this one. Okay? This uh, is a bolo and uh, this is one of the uh, weapons that we use with Kali. Actually, the original version of Kali is using a weapon such as this one. This is a bolo and uh, uh, this is uh, from uh, locally manufactured and so uh, we have a heavy one, a heavy bolo. Okay, so for for warm up, no, I've been doing some warm up now and that's why you can see me a, a little bit uh, sweaty and uh, a bit you know uh, already warmed up because I did some exercise now and uh, this time I'm going to give you some tips okay continue on the tips on the use of Kali uh, now we have been uh, we ha I have been showing you how to use Kali with a weapon such as uh, a knife and uh, you have seen me use the bolo. I'm not, uh, most of the time I don't uh, give some tips about how to use a bolo for now. Okay, we start with the smaller weapon, the knife, and uh, we uh, we master yet as for now uh, the, the stick. Okay, for the stick, I, I use the kamagong to warm up. So I did some warm up with uh, Sinwali and uh, Abaniko style. If you happen to have seen the previous sessions of uh, uh, Kali episode, no, for Kali exercise or Kali stenics by me. And uh, you should probably have seen that I use the kamagong type of stick. Then I move to another one, which is the heavy, heavy bladed weapon, which is the bolo, okay? And uh, this is the bolo that I use, by the way, uh, when I go to the farm. And I just came from the farm, and hence, uh, it reminded me, I think I need to uh, brush up my moves with using this uh, bolo. So I'll still be in the bukid tomorrow so i'll still be taking okay i'll be bringing another type of bolo this time okay it's a bolo that uh, i bought i bought in manila uh some time ago maybe two or three months ago uh i bought that in snr it's a bolo for uh, jungle bolo okay it's a jungle bolo and i want to show you uh, let me uh, get uh, the bolo and uh, show you how it looks like. Okay, here I am. And uh, this is um, my jungle bolo. This is a survival weapon. Okay, so uh, if you take a look, uh, this is actually a weapon or a tool for a survivalist or a prepper. No, I'm, I'm basically not a prepper officially, but uh, I have some some things i have an edc if you know what edc is edc is uh a a bag where you can put some emergency okay and uh emergency uh bag for carry everyday carry okay edc everyday carry bag so it's just right uh, beside my bed and it con it has this as well okay it has this as well and it's very light light material and uh, see and it is something it's uh, it has a paracord attached to it okay and uh, this is uh, made up of a sharp edge and a jagged edge a sawtooth edge okay and it is it's branded it's branded even the scabbard is really nice, okay? Yeah. And the uh, sharp knives and uh, sharp weapons are a hobby. You know, I've been collecting like uh, tools, uh, multi-tool knives. I have, I have automatic knives. 
I have uh, some jungle knives, okay, and uh, that's a hobby, you know. Uh, it's just a collector's uh, joy to have some different kinds of knives, and uh, this is the latest purchase I had. And uh, yeah, I'll bring it to the farm tomorrow and cut some bad bananas, meaning to say bad bananas, bananas that are infested with some kind of disease in the farm. So I'll have a try. I know this one is different from the first one. Okay, so. Almost the same. But this is actually really only in name that it's a uh, it's a farm. Uh, but uh, if you see the, the shape and the size and the thickness, okay, it. Uh, it's made to withstand impact unlike this one okay and it's made uh, the see that sharp edge it's not actually just a jungle ball it's actually a weapon and that's why i practice with this okay the, the warm-up uh, i use the warm-up with either the kamagong or this in order for me to become used to heavy things like this okay now this one is the real survival survival bolo okay you have the belly belly of the bolo and it's not the edge the sharp edge is not as sharp as the one so it's a it's a angulated like um, more than 50 degrees uh, with with the vertical no? uh, it's about maybe 45 to 50 degrees that's not as sharp as this this one is very acute maybe 20 20 degrees to the point okay and i hope what you know what i mean okay so this is actually uh disguising as a as a farm instrument but actually this is a a weapon okay a weapon okay so but anyway yeah it's labeled as a farm instrument just the same okay so it's quite heavy these two are two different things maybe in the material no but I believe that this is probably more durable than this. Most of the knives that are locally made are made from either the spring, okay, the, uh, what's this, the, uh, the spring, the car spring, okay, the muelle. Some use the bearing, actually they cut the bearing and stand it, but this is so big. So I probably, wh whether this could be a, know uh, some some materials coming from the rail station so some some time long time ago the rails in the zone were d d damaged and destroyed and some of them were taken by wise blacksmiths okay but this one is real okay and uh, they have a label for the type of steel they have a lab label for the type of steel that they made out of this uh, and it's in their catalog okay uh, it's made of carbon steel and uh, there's the type of steel the number okay and so this also can be a survival weapon a survival instrument at the same time a survival weapon so okay so this one you can move faster So you move with this one faster because it's uh, quite light compared to this uh, weapon that I use for uh, for warm up. Okay, so much for the introduction. Let's get down to the intention I have for this afternoon. Okay, so this afternoon let me give you some uh, some points to ponder okay some points to develop some or how to develop some moves in Kali without a weapon okay so weaponless Kali so just the same we move this way okay okay if you if you know karate if you know karate, karate, karate's position is from here. Strike. 
That's how it looks. In Cali, it's different. The, the force chambering is coming from side. So when you move, okay, it's not like karate when you have chop. It comes back to, to the chamber position in karate, okay? I'm not a karatista as well. I never had a chance to study this. I only had Kali, okay? So Kali, the force comes from the chamber. So if you move, it goes back there. Okay. okay, so we have learned some basic moves, horizontal, the X, inverted 8, okay. okay. The horizontal, the X, and the inverted eight. Okay. And if you remember, we had some moves called Sinwali. This time I'm going to show you, uh, in addition to how we learned with a knife, okay, remember that with a knife, the moves with a knife, to disable and lift, okay. So this time I'm going to show you a defensive move, defense offense move using the arm, the hands, and uh, it's actually, uh, the concept is actually with an opponent, okay. So the opponent hacks you with or hits you with, attempts to hit you with the right hand, the opposite, or stab, or stab you. Normal stabbing position, okay? The most common form. And you are there to defend yourself, okay? So the move is actually to block, okay? And to block. And Kali's concept is that we always catch the moving arm okay the, as much as possible you should be able to catch and disable the weapon holding uh, arm of the opponent so it's like this so you have the position he so you approach and try to avoid the sharp edge of the knife while you block it okay you block it this way okay with first with the one but it goes together with this okay and in Kali exercise we usually do a emotion that is smooth and uh, no flowing so you block it this way you coil your arm to the arm hold it get the shoulder okay and the neck push the neck down and the the, the opponent usually falls down there. while you are holding the, the knife uh, with a, the the arm with the knife okay so hold it then you turn the neck down and so the individual rolls okay and then you have another strike you block it this way okay while blocking it with the right hand then you parry it down and strike with you strike it with a sinewali style okay so block then you have a sinewali move then strike another Sinawali move. Okay, so the important uh, concept here is the block, okay? A knife comes in with the arm, you block it this way, coil your arm, okay? Slide your arm to the shoulder, keeping the patient uh, to the opponent down, catch the neck, and roll him under. And uh, you may step on him or kick him or step and kick with the right foot and then you block for another strike here okay apparently for another another attacker okay then you parry with the left arm 
and disable the attacker. Do a Sinawali strike, a Sinawali move, parry, strike, block, parry, and strike. So, with, with exercise, we use it slow, uh, smooth, flowing motion. So, smooth, okay, when from the position, smooth, flowing motion, okay, and you move forward and stamp on the feet, get the Sinawali strike. So, smooth, stop. So that's a lesson for today. Kali without weapons, uh, using a defensive offensive move without weapons. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, friends. Just practice doing the basic moves. Basic moves horizontal. Okay, the X, the figure of eight. horizontal the X in the horizontal move okay and the figure of eight then do the sinuale so sinuale and if you have the stick you can continuous, continuously practice with the Sinawali stick, okay? So, let me show you, okay? So, okay? And you can go... And you can turn, turn, change positions, okay? Okay, and that's all, friends. Thank you for being interested in Kali exercise, and I hope you continue supporting my channel. Please subscribe, like, and share okay so and thank you for the for the 50 plus subscribers now i'm so glad i'm almost there that i could uh, give some live sessions on youtube thank you see you again bye bye